Hello everyone, it's me Lego Marbles here. Now today we're gonna react to a video called Ranking Every Nintendo Handheld. Now this was made by the Vaniel Bandy. So I think you all know who that person is. And I reacted to his stuff in the past. And I still do now. So he does like trigger videos about like Nintendo games and I think that's all? No, I think it's some Sonic games too, to be added. But anyway, hope you guys enjoy this reaction. I can't wait to react to this video. And so, let's start the shall we? In 3, 2, 1, and go. Nintendo has certainly had a handful of handhelds, so we're oh, going to yeah. go ahead and rank them all. This is based off how practical the Look handhelds how much are stuff hardware that is. wise, that and if they were good insane. products during their height of release. Of how I many won't be including Game & Watch because they don't have are. cartridges unlike all these other systems. So with that said, let's get her ranked. 20. Virtual Boy. Is worst anybody really surprised that Virtual Boy is ever. Nintendo's worst handheld? It's hard to even classify it as a handheld because of how awkward it is to use. It's yeah. a big headset that you put on a stand that doesn't even have a head strap. That's the equivalent of glasses without end pieces. This design <laughs> choice makes zero sense. And to top it off, the graphics are absolutely horrible. The Virtual Boy is infamous for its games being in red and black, and also giving everybody massive headaches. All I can really say is that the Virtual Boy came out way before the technology was ready. About yeah. 15 to 20 years later, we have the 3DS, which <laughs> actually has 3D in their games, and of course, exactly. there's Labo VR and countless other Ooh. headsets. 19. Pokemon Mini. That's the tiniest Here we have a little device that seen. came out around the time Pokemon was blowing up, and when Tamagotchis were a big trend. It's the smallest handheld Nintendo has ever created, yeah, that's what and I only just has said. a D-pad with two buttons. You'd probably expect this would come packaged with games, but there's actually cartridges that you insert into the back. But the library is smaller than the Virtual Boys, and it's nothing but Pokemon titles. But at least it won't give you an eye strain, right? The games are nothing too special. It's basically just short mini games featuring your favorite Pokemon. What's cool to note is that it runs on just one AAA battery, and some of these games are emulated for the GameCube game Pokemon channel. There's really nothing worthwhile about the Pokemon Mini, but it's definitely a neat and charming piece of history. Mm -hmm. 18. Game Boy. I know this is a treasured handheld and considered an absolute classic, and it definitely earns that merit. It was a huge step forward from the Game & Watch for the simple fact that its games came on cartridges. And let's yeah. not forget that it debuted with Tetris, one of the biggest <laughs> puzzle games never to really this day. While it ran Tetris on four AA batteries, they lasted for quite a while considering the colors are only greenish and black. The Game Gear and Atari Lynx had better graphics, but the batteries drained a lot faster and ended up being more of a downgrade to the Game Boy. Its yeah. button selection replicates that of an NES controller, and they still have <laughs> a nice grip and are really easy to use. However, the screen is a bit on the small side, and there's no backlight, so yeah, you can there's only not see even the games light. if you're under a bunch like, of you light. Need to have light to 17. Play that. Game Boy Pocket. There is not too much Pocket. to add that hasn't name. already been said, since it's extremely similar to the original. The main difference <laughs> being that it's a bit smaller, a bit lighter, yeah. and uses one less battery. The screen one is a little bit bigger, and removes better. the greenish display and replaces it with entirely black and white colors. Strangely, the first model of the Game Boy Pocket didn't have an LED showing battery really? light, but was added to future models after people complained about its absence. <laughs> Nintendo's done this same thing to its revisions of the NES and SNES 2. I'm not sure why yeah. this was such a trend for them. 16. Mm -hmm. Game Boy Light. As the name implies, it's the Game Boy, but now with a backlit screen. For some reason, this only came out in Japan, but the fact that you can more easily see your screen makes this the best version of OG Game yeah. Boys. It also retains the sleek design from the Game Boy Pocket, but it's a touch bigger. Yeah. 15. Game Boy Color. This was actually my Color. first Nintendo system. I remember getting this when I was about six, and the games I got with it were Super Mario Bros. Deluxe and Pokemon Blue. That Christmas, <laughs> I also got the worm light, because for some reason, <laughs> Nintendo went back to having no backlight on their screen, so I needed this for playing at night when I wasn't supposed to. Dropping the backlight is just baffling, but I find it's better than the Game Boy Light regardless, because it is backwards compatible with all yeah. Game Boy games. The screen That's is also a like. bit bigger, and the games are obviously now in color and looking a lot better. There's no yeah. new buttons or anything, but the outer shells are pretty interesting as you can get Game Boy colors in a lot of different colors. 
and you can't forget about the Game Boy camera and printer, taking pictures with what? a device like this was mind-boggling at the time. 14. Game Boy Micro I always ask myself that? why the Micro has any reason to exist, but I'm so glad that it does. Nintendo for some reason decided to make a Game Boy Advance as tiny as humanly possible, yeah. and then sell it after the DS came out. Tell me how that makes any sense at all. But look at this little guy. Who could resist a Game Boy Micro? Nintendo even made the AMD buttons lowercase to emphasize its puniness. The main reason I put this as the worst Game Boy Advance variant is it removes the Game Boy's strongest future, backwards compatibility. That's right, mm -hmm. you can't play Game Boy or Game Boy Color games on this. Well, and let's be honest, it's just too small to play anything comfortably for long periods of time. 13. Game Boy Advance It was a close Toys call putting this handheld what? above or below the micro because this system doesn't have a backlit screen, but it can play Game Boy and Game Boy Color games, so that makes it slightly better for that reason. Yeah. And it's a bit more comfortable to hold, too. Plus, this was the first Game Boy to include the r &L shoulder buttons. The graphics were a lot crisper, and the games were running even better, despite the cartridge shrinking in size. You could also use this thing called an e-reader, which let you scan in cards to either play games or add content to other GBA games. There was also a That's wireless adapter used for tracking Pokemon more seamlessly. Trading. And you can't forget about the Game Boy Advance video where you can watch the entirety of Shrek 1 or Shrek 2 on the go. What? Call me biased, but it doesn't get better than that. 12. Game Boy Advance SP For a time, this <laughs> was the perfect there. gaming system. It fixed nearly every flaw the original Game Boy Advance had. The biggest was reviving the backlight and keeping it for all future handhelds. The console was also more compact and folded, which helped keep the screen from getting damaged. Well, Even good. with a smaller size, you could still play all your Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and of course, Game Boy Advance titles. There That's was awesome. even an updated model that has an even brighter looking screen. And better yet, the system was rechargeable, so you no longer need mm. to swap out batteries. My only gripe with the SP is that it got rid of the headphone jack. This well, is sucks. before Apple was famous for removing that from their iPhones, but thankfully there is an adapter so you can easily fix that problem. 11. Mm -hmm. Nintendo DS With a slogan like, yeah, touching is a... good, you know we have ourselves a winner. The DS looks like a Game Boy Advance SP but on steroids. It has two screens and two additional buttons, and the bottom screen can be touched with a stylus which snugly fits into the back. There's even a microphone on this handheld, and it has Wi-Fi connectivity so you can play games online or wow. send your friends messages with PictoChat. And on top of that, it's even backwards compatible with Game Boy Advance titles, but That's nothing cool. below that, sadly. It's truly a hallmark of a handheld to include this many new features, and I haven't even brought mm -hmm. up the games yet. You can now play fully-fledged 3D games like Super Mario 64 yeah, DS, Mario Kart DS, Legend of Zelda Spirit Never Tracks, Animal Crossing Wild World, that. and the list just went <laughs> on and on and on. 10. Nintendo DS Lite So here we have another yeah, DS, but it's quite a bit sleeker looking and not so bulky like the original. It's also a I bit mean, lighter, the has a brighter screen, the stylus is a bit meatier, and it even came with a blank GBA slot to prevent dust when you didn't have a GBA game inside. So it's really not too different, it just looks a lot prettier. 9. Nintendo DSi That's what I own, next but it's a red the version. DS family. Gone as the GBA slot at the bottom, but now we have an even bigger screen as well as two digital cameras and an SD card slot. The system yeah. also had an eShop for DSi games, and it was mm -hmm. slightly more powerful than a DS Lite. I think it's good to note that the cameras on the <laughs> DSi aren't very good as it's only 0.3 megapixels, but mm -hmm. considering the resolution of the screens themselves, I think it worked for what it needed to do. 8. Nintendo DSi XL. The name speaks really? for itself. <laughs> and really, the two What's handhelds the can be interchanged on which you'd prefer. The screens are much wider, the speakers can get slightly louder, and the battery oh. Life is slightly Don't mind my dogs. The regular DSi, which is funny considering there's more screen being displayed here. The stylus is also longer and thicker, making it easier <laughs> to get a good grip with. But the DSi XL is also a lot larger, making it more yeah. clumsy to carry around on the go. So really, it's all about preference for which one you prefer. 7. Mm -hmm. Nintendo 2DS So this That's is what one I of those want. systems where yeah, you just kind of think, I'm one of those people that really why. want 2DS. 2DS has always perplexed me because of its decision to remove the ability to close the screens together. They also removed the 3D effects and marketed this primarily towards kids, which seems backwards because the screen is more likely to get scratched up not being able to protect it. Plus it has a lower sound quality and a stagnant battery life. Now, despite all the dislikes I've kind of talked about, it plays games perfectly fine and is still more powerful than any regular DS. Seeing this system in this slate shape, though, just kind of feels off. 
Six, new Nintendo 2DS XL. Yeah, the Why name rolls right off the tongue, doesn't though? it? Here is Nintendo's final 3DS <laughs> system. It's the end of an era for the long-lasting DS and 3DS family. They finished it off with mm. what's basically a new 3DS XL, but without the 3D effects. I'm not really sure wow. why anybody would need to own this. I guess if you don't care <laughs> for the 3D, but want to get the system for really cheap. But here's the strangest part. This came out in the summer of 2017, while this little console came out a couple months <laughs> before. But even yeah. with all that said, this is still a fantastic system and has all the improvements besides the 3D aspect. It's just weird that this exists at all. It kind of reminds me of the whole Game Boy Micro scenario. <laughs> 5. Nintendo 3DS. And now yeah. we're at the first iteration of the 3DS library. While it looks a little clunky on the outside, it has a lot happening on the inside. The graphics <laughs> have been improved even more, there's a new home button to help you travel from a game or app back to the main screen, and there's of course the 3D slider which adds a neat 3D effect to games like Super Mario 3D Land or Mario Kart 7. Along <laughs> with the D-pad is the circle pad, which makes it more possible to move around in 360 degrees. And did I mention that you can play the entire DS catalog as well? There is loads of new software too, like the new and improved eShop, Street Pass and Spot <laughs> Pass, Virtual Console for Game Boy games, Augmented Reality, and even a camera that can take 3D pictures. <laughs> 4. Nintendo 3DS XL Not only is this a larger 3DS with bigger screens, but the outer design is a lot cleaner looking too. It's actually the biggest screen of any Damn. Nintendo handheld, outside the Switch, but that's a hybrid console anyway. <laughs> this could be interchanged with the original 3DS, but I've always found the XL to be a bit more comfortable to hold over long periods of time. Mm -hmm. 3. New agree. Nintendo 3DS and here begins the absolutely horrible naming of the 3DS system. Yeah. The main difference here is the additional buttons, starting with this <laughs> nubby C-stick and the ZL and ZR triggers on the back. These extra buttons <laughs> aren't really that intuitive for most games and don't feel the best to use, but it's nice that they're still there regardless. The new 3DS also has a better processor and allowed for games like Xenoblade Chronicles to be ported over. And hey, if you wanted to scan Amiibo into your 3DS, now you don't need that NFC reader because the bottom of the handheld has the reader built right in. The only oh, really? true downside is the placement of the micro SD card. It's in the rear cover and requires a screw to swap out or remove the cards. But oh, wow. otherwise, this thing rocks. 2. New Nintendo 3DS XL What more do I Why? need to add? It's a new Nintendo 3DS, but it's extra large. The only thing I should mention is that it actually doesn't come with an AC adapter, which is crazy considering the charging port is proprietary. But by this point, if you're buying a handheld with such a ridiculous name, you've already got the AC adapter, so it doesn't really matter that much. Yeah. 1. Nintendo Switch Goodbye oh, yeah. 3DS the and best. hello Nintendo Switch. The best. While this is technically a hybrid console, you can of course play this in handheld mode, and that is an incredible feat for how powerful yeah. it is. The screen on this tablet is in HD and plays AAA games like a charm. And of course it has the Joy-Cons with its endless features and I the all-mighty Pro Switch, Controller, by but the way. just the simple fact that the Switch can play huge games like Super Mario Odyssey, the best game. Doom, or Smash Bros. Ultimate is such yeah, a huge a game advantage too. to every handheld ever created. And we're just getting started. Right now it has a virtual console library of NES games, but in the future mm. we'll probably get SNES, Game Boy, N64, and the list could really go on and on. The Switch mm -hmm. has a pretty exciting life ahead of itself, and I'm ready to see what else it's going to throw on the table. And before wrapping up, I just wanted to give a big thanks to Nintendo for letting me use all of his Game Boy and Nintendo systems for the video. Mm, bro. Yeah, no problem. So there you have it. I know people have their opinions and childhoods with all these yeah. handhelds, so let me know which is your favorite in the comments down below. But Mine's with that the said, Switch, thank obviously. You all so much the for watching. 2DS. I hope you have a wonderful day. And Until the 3DS. next time. In the DSi. Yeah, look at all that. Yeah. That was a good video, though. Okay, so, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I actually enjoyed this video, like, this is like, this was like the best video I've reacted to, well, not really the best video, but, you know what I mean, it's a good, like, ranking every Nintendo console, or handheld, <laughs> I don't know why I said console, but, I did download this video because of the, you know, the ads of YouTube and all that but this is a YouTube video it's just it's downloaded so that's the reason why the like end there didn't have like those videos that pop up at the end 
but you already know that anyway what I do. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh, I can't wait on like March 30th because that is when the fourth movie comes out. Like I can't wait for you guys to watch it. And yeah, I can't wait to see the movie do success because of the what I've been putting my heart into for it. But anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction video and Hopefully you will like the movie for when it comes out. But anyways, make sure to like and subscribe and press that bell to be notified when a new video, like plush video or reaction video, drops. So, yeah. Hope you guys have a good day or night. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.